Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So today I would like to go and I've got a few things on my list here, let's have a look at those. So explain the nether hub, uh, item router, furnace filter and excavator. So I'm going to start with the excavator. I prepared some stuff already, in fact I had some stuff prepared last time so let's have a look at that one first of all. It's all made, I've made the, the cast all I need to know and this is full of eight ingots of cobalt so i'm going to make a cobalt based excavator and i'll show you why in a second in fact it's uh, fairly essential to make a cobalt something fast and something heavy for the nether because it's in it's all in to do with the nether of course that's going to take a few seconds to do i probably should have done it before shouldn't i I'll tell you what i'll cut it out so that's just made let's go and get, oops, get it out of here so that basically uses up all eight ingots like most of the big tools, they all have eight ingots worth of whatever. So I'll make it up the same way as I've done the other two tools, and that is with, um, so we'll look out to the parts chest. I'm going to use a wooden tough, tough rod, and I'm going to use a stone face, and I'm going to use a paper tough binding, I think. So we'll just make this up. Um, this one's the forge, isn't it? So we'll have a look at excavator, and basically it's this recipe. So I'm going to use the, that for speed, this to repair it, dead cheaply this to give an extra modifier and this to repair itself automatically and I think that'll just uh, do nicely so that's it squid let's go and have a look at the nether I'll take you to the I'll take you to the beginning of this because and then we'll then I'll zap to the actual place where I'm working so in the nether yes it says every every block is one is eight blocks in the overworld so if you think of that as meters or whatever, let's get out of here. Just have a quick look around. Let's show them the thing around. No, right. Just make sure I've got my mini. <laughs> sure, I'm going to turn these off. They give me so much like, and I'm also going to change the armor, of course, because this is not the best armor to have on at the moment. These cause so much like in the nether, it's just not true. So every block is equivalent to eight or whatever. So if it's meters, it's eight meters. If it's yards, it's eight yards. And each block up is the same as it is on the overworld. So we're at level 119, which is um, just just below the roof. Uh, the bedrock's just one block above this. I'm going to turn this one off as well because I don't know what it is. Oh, could, this is just to cause lag. Oh, there's no enderman on the mini map over there. And I came across a very large pile of. Um, Soul sand, which is what we're just about to reach now. And the soul sand seems to have little sort of, I don't know what the word is, ghosts, I suppose they are, souls. I think the soul's popping out of here. So we'll give this a test and see how it works. So, for example, I want to go down here. I'm not sure if it's going to take me one or more than one block away. Let's have a look. That's just one good. So I can open this up fairly easily like this and then we can just go I'll just go to the end here and start hammering away and then we've reached this section then we basically need the um, the hammer again but what I've been doing is I've been digging up these and I haven't brought any with me but I'll get some in a second as we bash this down of course see I wore this one out and it's taking quite a long time to come back again what's it 92 um, and the hammer is here so I shall be back. How far have I got to travel now? 71 meters. So I'm going to go do the 71 meters now and then come back when I've done that. See you in a minute. Right, I'm nearly there. And you can see how fast this hammer goes anyway. So we've got seven meters, six meters. So we're about there now, I think. And underneath this point, wherever it's gone to, let's just step back a bit. We should be able to see it. Maybe I'm not far enough yet. Yeah, there we go. There should be, um, the ocean monument. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hammer this out a bit. Oh, it's a bit fast sometimes, there's big oaks. <laughs> and I might inventory a bit full. I'll tell you what we'll do, I'll just put some of this away. And that one. So I've got with me the backpack, so let's just throw this down. In fact, what I'm going to do is, yes, I'm going to go back here a bit. And I'm going to get rid of this. You see I didn't pick up all this netherrack here. So what we'll do is we'll make a, a hole in the middle. It's normally here as I do it. 
and then we'll just put these back down like this. I want to be out of the way, I don't want to pick this up if I can avoid it. Yeah, I picked it up. Right. So let's see if we can put down the backpack. Yeah, good. So I can get rid of some of this into that now, so that's great. So we've got some space left, let's just do that again. Oops, shift and left click it. So what I've been doing is basically that, and then putting down uh, lanterns on the way. So what I've got to do here now, is I forgot to bring it with me, of course. I forgot to go and get the obsidian that I need for this. Um, so what I'm going to do is do that, I'll come back when I've got the obsidian. So I'll make a little trench, we'll build the thing and I'll we'll see you in a minute. Well I'm back with some obsidian this time and I've got to just finish doing this. So it'll take two more blocks and we should be able to light this. And I've got no idea where it, and bedrock, you see? So this is the idea with this thing, because you've got bedrock at the top here. And that was four blocks below the, the lowest part of the bedrock, so I can guarantee I can create a, a portal. Now what happens with the portals is it actually I've got no idea where this one's going to come out. I hope it's going to come out very near to the um, um, Ocean Monument, but I've got no guarantees. The rules are, I think, so I'm going to get this into my hand and take the risk. This will produce, this will make a, a portal somewhere in the overworld. And if it's night time I'll just have to come back again. <laughs> or oh, put my night. Ooh. It's actually created it in the water. Now that's interesting. Let's just put a night vision. That was G, wasn't it, for goggles? Oh no, it's not going to work because. Ah, uh, what time is it? <laughs> night time. Oh dear. Um, let's see if I can sleep. Let's put down some netherrack down here. I don't really want to fall into this water. Right, like that. And we should just be able to sleep here like that. Hopefully we won't freeze to death. We probably might do. Ooh, that was a bit close to the edge. Now where am I? <laughs> oh, it's actually created it right above. Oh, look, you can see all the guardians down there, right above the portal. I didn't expect that. What height are we? 119. Okay, as we were in the Nether. Wow, that's going to be fun. I'm going to have to find a way to build down to that. But I'll do that in my own time, I think. So for now, we'll go back home. Let's pick up this. So you do come out in your Y. So I'll see you in a minute. I've just gone past there, but I haven't shown you this. And that was how I actually got up here, first of all. I basically built it, I basically just pillared straight up like this. And of course, because this is all encased, I encased it to make sure we were going to be safe as I was building it. And I just basically went from the base, found roughly where I wanted to go to, and found a space to go up. And just dug straight up, pull it straight up. I actually, that was what was caused my death. And if I go down here, so that's, oh, I can turn that off for a start. I have to be careful as well, because this the last time I came along here, there was a, a nitro creeper blew up. So as you can see, this was the base. And I haven't bothered to actually um, remove the other spawner that was down, um, near the spawner. The other, um, oh, what's it called? Portal that was down here. I've still left it here, so we can actually travel down here still. But that might be a useful way of getting around of it. I'm not 100% sure, as you can see. Now we go up here and we end up at the other portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this portal <laughs> and travel back to the back up here through the, through the portals and go back home. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, I got back eventually. <laughs> I had to go around a bit, but never mind. So today, I'd like to do this. Basically, conveyor belts. I want to replace and an item router. Now, I have made an item router. I think I've got one in here somewhere. I've still got a load of soul sand around. Ah, oh, there we go. I think that's an item router. I'll have a look at the recipe for that in a second. I'm just going to put this away. So the recipe for the item router is sort it and then you can do it so it's very quite cheaper is it's four pretty wood planks one redstone one conveyor belt and some an iron mechanical component we've done all of that before two ingots of iron and that's it now the way this works is fairly straightforward let's have a look i was going to do a sort of demonstration let's just do a demonstration first of all i've got two chests here with items not in them yet but we'll put some items in them that just go a little bit over here put another one down and then we'll put between these two some conveyor belts. So first of all we, 
we've got some conveyor belts here and you can see that the arrow will point to that direction I'm going to put down this one which is the extracting conveyor belt if I put this down here like this it looks like that and what it does is as it as its name implies let's just put this bucket in there the bucket gets pulled out and then pushed into this chest that obviously was empty before wasn't it now the item router what does that do let's remove this one here like that and put the obviously the item router it sorts items just as simple as that really so here we have here we have the item router. I don't know why I thought of just completely think forgot about this. So we've got blue, white, green, red, and yellow, and there's something probably black underneath it, something like that. Let's have a look. White, black, yes. So bottom was black, white was top, exactly. And then you can put items in this. So for example, if we want to say let's sort the red side here. In fact, let's get another chest if I have got one spare. Don't see one there. Oh, I've got one here. Let's put another chest here. And let's get this. I think it'll do it well. Though, so I'm not sure. So that's the the red side. So let's just put a bucket in the red side here. Like this. Let's put that bucket in the red side, and that should be whitelisted out of here. I think. Or dictionary, NTB data, fuzzy filter, um, blacklisting. I'm not sure how you do. If you can do it. Obviously, if you press that, it'll turn on NVD data, so it ignores NBT data. In other words, um, enchantments. So let's put the bucket into here like this, and it should. Oh, yes, of course. Let's do that again from this distance. It should get sorted, and it should end up in here. It didn't. Ah, oh. because why? There you go. Remove. Let's remove this. I'm hot. Why am I hot? Because of the climatizations working from here. Wow, that's interesting. But it's okay, I'm not too hot. Um, let's just break this. Where's it gone to? What's its damage now? 132. It's, going, it's recovering slowly. Now, maybe I have to put it on a conveyor belt. Like that. And then let's put the chest in front of that. that uh, I can't put it there oh, of course I can't put it there I'll tell you what we can do we can put another conveyor belt into here can't we and then send it into that other chest let's give that a sort there are no buckets in there at the moment okay so this has still got the, the buckets here on this filter I think that's the right way around so let's just put the buckets into this chest um, I'm probably gonna pick it up again so let's just do it from a distance and sure enough, you just saw it disappearing in there. So that the item router. So that is a really a sort of a lot simpler than it was before. Now it's gone dark again, so I'm going to have a quick sleep. Right, I've, got, I've now got my thing in. Let's, I've explained this. I hope I've explained it reasonably well. So it's, the distance is eight, and I started from the top and worked my way down, and then it goes the way up. Ah, uh, yes, I showed you how to get there. So we've looked at item router and we've done the excavator. So now we're going to replace the furnace filter that we've got there and put this one in its place. That should simplify things a lot. We have to pick it up with an axe. Okay, pickaxe for these. No, I don't need the chests. I can leave those there. It doesn't work very well with pickaxe. Either a bit slow. So let's replace all of this stuff. There are a few bits and pieces I'm not 100% sure about yet. So can we, for example, um, combine the two conveyor belts? So let's find out. So here's a conveyor belt. What happens if I put in here a immersive engineering one? So that direction. And I'm going to have to remove this, of course. And what happens if I put something on there? What have we got? We can put on there a bottle of water. Right, click it on there, and then sure enough that's gone there, but it gets stuck into that. So maybe we need to uh, use an, an, an inserter to put it onto there. Let's have a look if that works. Shift right click that off. So that inserter I've got, I can replace this. I'm running out of space in this direction. No, I'm not. Oh, maybe I am. Well, let's have a think about this. Let's put the inserter down here. Conveyor belts pickaxe, yep. 
So I need another block in its place, and I haven't got anything very useful with me at the moment. Brilliant. What have we got here? One. There's a zombie here. Where is he? Um, there. Oh yes, there he is. Stuck in the water. Sort him out. I don't know why I spawned in there actually. No, oh, no mind. So I just need some blocks. Let me just go and get some blocks. Have we got anything on me? No, I haven't. I'll be back in a second. I oh, maybe I've got my pick backpack and maybe there's a block in there. Let's have a look. No blocks. I'll be back in a second. See, magic got some dirt now. <laughs> right, so let's put the dirt down there and let's put the inserter onto that, pointing into this conveyor belt. It's funny having snow on the on the conveyor belts, isn't it? So I don't know what's going to work. Let's just put the bottle down here. Oh yeah, that works fine. But as you can see, I'm pulling the stuff out. So we need now we need to set the item. If I press shift, I think I can walk on these. Yes, I can. Like, like most things, let's give it a snow. So let's put it and what do I need to do here? Not much, I don't think. We just need to go. Yep. So I just put the item router here and route it one side into that chest, which is where they got the flint. Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's not do it like that. Let's break that one. Let's put the item router there. And then we can then sort that so that one piece can come out of here and go into that chest but I reckon that I'm not going to be able to do that it's too tight so I'm going to remove all of these items um, I'm not going to do that I just like that I suppose yes of course and then we can break away these hoppers we don't need the hoppers there anymore anyway so we can get rid of these Don't need the droppers neither. We don't need that torch and we can remove these. Well, little bits and pieces. <laughs> That's getting no space in my inventory, of course not. So let's just put down a chest here and just get rid of that stuff. Um, five. Right, good. So I don't need that, and I don't need the redstone, the comparison torch. I'll leave the blocks with me. I'll we'll just fill in these two holes. So we want flints to come out of the yellow side, and we can put those straight into a into a chest here, I think. So on this, uh, of course, I've put all the flint away into here. Let's just take some out. So on the yellow side, we'll just make some, put some flint into that. And that's the only thing we have to do, I think. So that should then simply root straight into this this chest, uh, into this chest, and everything else should go straight on. Let's do that. So if it goes straight on, we can actually possibly put it. I don't know whether that'll work or not. It doesn't matter if it doesn't, because if it doesn't, I'll just remove it. In fact, I should remove it anyway, shouldn't I? Let's do that. that and we can then put of course another conveyor belt going that way and that should then simply connect in across and go straight into that so let's give that a test now so let's just take one piece of so we've got on there that we can use some flint let's put these 39 flints down here I'm freezing okay and they should end up going into that chest there and sure enough all 39 did so let's go and take something else mm -hmm. I'm a bit short of ads for, for oh yes here we are this was my test to see if these things despawned so I've got a chunk here what is it is it a rocky chunk it's a knuckle rock nickel rocky chunk so that needs to go and go into the sieve so let's put that into the sieve and hopefully it'll get processed and sure enough it does so that should then come out stand on this battery box over there it is go into that and it should carry on straight over there and it's worked so it's now gone into the furnace but the furnace is actually full <laughs> why is that not working because it's full of pat it's actually yes that sort of makes sense but uh, i'll put some i'll replace these with covered with covered ones let's go and do that 
actually, because that's quite a good sensible thing to do. Because the covered ones are much better. I'm not sure why I'm not getting enough power in there. So I'll look at this again. I fixed this. Uh, you may have noticed from episode 25 I fixed it. Now have we got any power on these? That oh, seems to be working. Uh, these are broken of course. And this was the one I fixed. What I did is simply break it and then instead of having steam in the side it got water. So that works correctly. That was very strange. Oh, covered hoppers is what I wanted to make, wasn't it? Covered, covered conveyors. Oh, there we go. Three steel scaffolding. Sc steel scaffolding is a bit on the expensive side. If we look at the recipe for this, you'll see it's basically three ingots of steel plus another two. And that gives us six steel scaffolding. So basically five ingots. So just about one ingot of steel gives you this. So we can then combine these three here. Not sure which way they'd go. I think it might be shapeless crafting. Is it shapeless crafting? No, it is positional. Like that. Then we get our three covered conveyor belts. What's nice about these, you can't pull the stuff out of it. So let's go and put these, replace the ones we've got and put these down here. It works exactly the same way. So we just put the skills, it says look, it's got the, exactly the same arrow. We can do the same thing here. Let's try again. Get the arrows going. And if you mess it, if you mess these up, of course, I, hopefully I can't pull it out of it. Got, a, got an empty face on this one. Let's go and test it again. So here we have put that one down onto that, then gets inserted into that. And as you saw, it went, it's got stuck on here. Now I can't pull it out by being here. Can I pull it out of the back? No, I can't. Good. So it stays there. But you can see it. And this thing is... Oh, it is actually working now. So I did need to power that up. Oh, yes, and the two dimensions are working as well, as you can see. So my, I, I'm not sure why I'm making lots and lots of nether rack. I suppose, uh, nether ricks, because I've got a lot of nether rack and I'm not using the power for very much at the moment. So I thought I might as well sort that out. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, done the nether hub, made the excavator, and had a look at replacing the um, furnace feeding or filtering. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.